welcome back. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me one brand tutorial featuring um, Revolution Beauty or Makeup Revolution. Um, you can buy this at Ulta, very affordable brand. I have several products here. What struck this, what made me want to do this video was that, of course, the new Emily Noel 83 or the Emily Edit, um, the wants and the needs palettes that were just released last week. Um, I got those palettes and I was like, oh my gosh, what else do I own by them? And I do own several other products from Makeup Revolution, so I thought I'd have just about enough to do a one brand tutorial. I didn't have like a primer or an eye primer or a setting spray or anything like that, but I do have like the gist. And for this video, I actually purchased their stick foundation. This is the uh, Fast Base Stick Foundation in the shade F8. So I've never tried this before, and I swatched it in the store, but then like later the swatch on my hand looked like it was oxidized, like a lot. So I just did one side of my face and marked it up, and now I'm using my Real Techniques buffing brush. I'm going to try to use affordable products today, like if I don't have um, a product or a brush, you know, by Makeup Revolution, then I'll use an affordable brand one. Um, but yeah, so that foundation is okay. The F8 seems to be an okay shade match. Not like, not bad. It might be a little bit too yellow for me, but I'm going to do another layer right here where I have some acne. And then just do the other side of my face. Alright, I don't hate it. I don't love it. Foundation's just okay. But I do like this next product. This is my tried and true Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour, and I have it in C5. Um, Emily Noel also recommended this. It is high coverage, that's for sure. C5, I feel like I could go a shade deeper than this. Um, I originally, I think I had C4, and that was way too light, and I went to C5 or something like that. And then you can see here that C5 is just a little bit light, so if you have if you're like an NC30 at MAC, I'm like light medium to medium maximum in the summer um, with neutral to slightly yellow undertones, if that helps you. So C5 is just a hair light. It's perfect probably for me in the winter, though. Um, then you might consider the same shade. I like to tell people that. It's kind of like when you're clothes shopping and you're showing your hauls on your clothing on, on your channel. You're like... I have short legs, short arms, this and that. I'm 5'2". I have this, you know, so I just want you all to know. Okay, so I did get the um, Emily Edit the Needs, and this is $15. I got mine at Revolution Beauty, and I was able to use Ebates. I think I got 3.5% cash back and a coupon code. Um, and then I spent whatever the threshold was, $30, $40, something like that. And I got free shipping, and it came within a week. So um, this is it. So for the powder, I'm going to be using Kindness. And Kindness is like her transition, I'm sorry, not transition, like a translucent powder. This is the e.l.f. blush brush, and it it works just fine. Um, not too much powder kick up, but I'm just using that translucent powder right under the eyes to set my concealer. I do want to do more looks with the Emily palettes, so let me know like what colors in particular you want to see me use together, and I will. Do those. I'm just taking a little bit on the um, T-zone. When I use a stick foundation, I always feel like I get super oily, and I don't really have oily skin, so um, I just try to combat that with adding powder all over the face when normally I would just powder my T-zone. I'm just taking a little bit and putting that all over. Okay, then I'm going to use the bronzer in here. It's the shade Courage up top, and then the blush, and then the highlight. So. Courage is the bronzer, Joy is the blush, and Gratitude is the highlighter. That's what I meant to say. Using the same brush. That is quite deep. Um, it is a really pretty shade. I feel like I don't need a bronzer and a contour. It's kind of right in between. Just enough warmth, just enough cool. Reminds me a little bit of like a slightly warmer, more creamy Benefit Hula bronzer. Maybe like... Benefit Hula with a shot of orange in it, <laughs> but in a good way, because I know Benefit Hula might be a little bit too cool tone for some people with really warm skin. It looks a little gray. I can pull it off, but um, now I'm just taking that same blush brush using the Bronzer of Courage on my temples and hairline area.
Then I'm using the same brush with the blush shade in here called Joy. I would say this is satin. I don't know if I think it's a complete matte shade, but it looks not glittery. But next to it you have the highlighter, and Emily um, pointed out that you can mix the highlighter with the blush to get more of a um, shimmery blush, but she didn't want to go with a shimmery brush in or a glittery blush or anything in case you weren't into that. She wanted this to appeal to the masses. Now I'm using the highlighter on the same brush. This is Gratitude. This e.l.f. blush brush is a very useful blush brush to own because I can use it for, it's just small enough to use for contour and highlight and blush and bronzer and I think it's a really useful, um, like kind of a universal brush, if you know what I mean? Like a very multi-purpose, that's the word I'm looking for, not universal. Alright, I'm using the Essence I Love Stage or I Heart Stage eyeshadow base. And this is like a nude colored um, primer that will block out any discoloration in your eyelids, help your shadows last longer, make them more vibrant, and help them not crease. So it's kind of a three-in-one sort of deal. All right. If you like my nail polish, this is a new one. I just got it. It's Sally Hansen's Color Therapy, and the shade I think is Well, Well, Well. Well, well, well. All right, for the eyes, I'm going to be doing um, the blush shade. Now, I'm going to use the shade Peace, which is this nudie shade, first and try that as my transition. I'm moving my mirror so I can kind of see you and myself at the same time. You know what? This blush brush, I'm going back in with my concealer brush. Okay. You use a clean brush. This is the Real Techniques 200. It's their eyeshadow brush from the Bold Metals Collection. This is the shade Peace. It is a beautiful, light, nudie peach. I think it is perfect for a transition shade or to like peek out behind um, any darker looks you might do with this palette or the other palette even. Um, and then I am going to load that brush up, keep it next to me, and I'm going to come back to it in a little bit. Um, when I'm ready. And then I'm going to use the highlighter, um, Gratitude, mixed with the shade Honesty, which is like a rosy pink, using this one and that mixed together. And that is making a really pretty soft pink eye look. I've never done that before, but I just thought it seemed like it would be fun. And then I'm going back in only with the highlighter and using that like on the inner quarter of the eye. So I still want to see the pink, but I want to see more of the, um, the shimmer. That's what I was looking for. You know, one thing that this palette is missing, and I hate to even like mention anything that's missing because I love Emily so much. I don't know if I'm the only one that feels this way, but it's missing like a really pretty shimmery lid shade like a gold or a champagne or a peach or a bronze or something shimmery for the lid. That's one you know, criticism that I have, but otherwise it's, it's nice and it applies really beautifully. Now I'm using the shade Faith and I might mix in with Hope, the two brown shades. One of them is really warm and one of them is cooler. You know, I'd already packed my makeup bag. We're going to Minnesota September 7th through the 12th, and I had packed it, and I was going to film, like, what's in my travel makeup bag. But getting this palette that's, like, an all-in-one kind of makes me want to unpack it and pack this instead of what I brought. Um, this was the e.l.f. blending brush, so another affordable $3 brush. If I'm talking, like, funny or being weird, it's because I have my whitening, uh, my retainer with my whitening gel. So I, I just wanted to point that in case you were like, girl, why are you talking weird? Now I'm going to use this really dark purple shade called Passion. And it's sparkly, so I don't want to go too crazy with it, but I did want some depth. You know, my um, Emily said that this color reminded her of, of the first MAC eyeshadow she ever owned, which was Beauty Marked, and I own that one, and I love it. So I thought that was really cool, because that was one of my first also. It's so different. All right, so now I'm going back into that loaded up transition shade brush and I'm kind of blending out the edges you know I'm not like 
super impressed with this palette. I'm just really missing that lid shade. I feel like my eye look is very underwhelming. Um, I do feel the, t the, the urge to go into my bigger palette, but I'm going to keep it just as palette so that you can see realistically what look you can get. Go and do lips. This is the um, Revolution Lip Geek lipstick in the shade Totally Not Boring. And this was like five bucks, I think. Totally not boring. It's kind of a berry shade. I thought this would be fun for fall. It is creamy. It doesn't feel like matte or it's not shiny either. It's kind of like a satin. And then I'm going to do my brows. And I did buy a new brow product. I've never used it. Sorry, I'm sitting back in my chair. It's filming in this chair so hard because it's really deep. And it wants, like, I have to sit forward to, to sit up to see you. And uh, it kills my back. Um, but this is the Duo Brow Definer in the shade Light Brown by Makeup Revolution. So one side has a triangular little tipped pencil, and then one side has a spoolie. So I am going to take small strokes. I did actually just tweeze my brows today, and I trimmed them. And they're a little bit, like, choppier than I like right now. Like, I created some patches that are, like, less coverage than normal. But I was just trying to like do them before vacation because I'm only going to be gone four or five days and I don't really want to bring like tweezers and so I tried to like do them ahead of time. But I might have overdone it. <laughs> so I got the shade light brown. There were several different shades darker than this and I think there was like blonde or you know taupe or something under this shade um, lighter. So I, maybe I should have gone with a deeper shade. I don't know. I mean it's light. But that's totally fine with me. So, um, and then I'm going to use the spoolie on the other side. This pencil feels really good in your hand. It's really thick. If you're familiar with the e.l.f. one, the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil, it's that thickness. It's not the thickness of like an Anastasia one or like the micro brow pencil by NYX. This is a very thick pencil. Let me show you for reference. This is the Anastasia one. And this is the... Makeup Revolution one, so it kind of gives you an idea. It's way thicker, and this is the e.l.f. one. Well, it's, it's even thicker than that. The e.l.f. one is white. So, yeah. Um, all right, so I'm going to do liner. Um, I don't have a Makeup Revolution eyeliner, do I? No, I don't. So I'm using the Essence eyeliner pen in the shade brown. This was $2.99 at Ulta yesterday, so. I am pretty pleased with that. And I, this is the first time I'm using it. Pretty good. I'll do the other eye and apply some of the Essence Lash Princess False, La False Lash Effect Mascara. Be right back. Okay, that eyeliner and mascara is done. Now I'm going to take the palette and the shade Faith and Hope, perhaps, those two browns, and a just a little smudger brush. I'm going to put those underneath the lashes on the bottom, about halfway in. So it's not a dramatic, um, difference doing this. There you go. So this eye, I just did it and this eye haven't yet. It's not very dramatic, um, but I think it is pretty. And then you can even take like the shade piece and kind of like a transition shade underneath the eye. So I will use just a pencil brush and the shade piece, which is the one I use for the transition um, on the upper eye. And this is like slightly lighter than the one I just did. And it's gonna allow it to like blend out more gradually, more seamlessly. Like a gradiated effect, like dark and then slightly light and then under eye tone. Okay, so this is it for my, um, the Emily Edit The Needs palette look that I created. Um, like I said, I'm kind of underwhelmed with the lid shade. Now, my temptation is to take this and then bring, like, one individual shadow of something really bold, like a L'Oreal Infallible 
which has like a really pretty shimmery lid shade. So like this and this could do bronzer, blush, highlight. I could use those two browns for my brows, the powders. Um, and then I could also have my eyeshadow um, plus liner like under my lash line. Like this could be really useful. I'm just missing that one BAM shadow, the BAM, the look for the lid. And the one that I would like to see BAM it, you know, I could, what would I give up? I don't know, but I feel like there's a lot of open space over here. They could have like turned those in a different direction or reorganized the layout of the palette and given me one more round shadow or one more skinny strip of something shimmery. Like it could be gold, it could be champagne, it could be light pink with shimmer, it could be anything. But I didn't feel like adding the highlighter to any of the lid shades that were in here was enough. Like I did that with the pink and I feel like you can't even tell that my lids are shimmering. It looks like a matte eye look. So that's my overall opinion on this palette so far after a single use. Let me know if you guys have any requests for looks you want to see me do. Like I could do the dark shade on the lid and then blend out with mattes instead of a light shade on the lid. That might be a good use for this. And then if you have any um, look requests for the Emily um, Edit The Wants collection, um, let me know which colors you want to see me do and what kind of looks you want to see me create for the fall. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.